everyone welcome back to my channel I know it's been a minute um, so I just wanted to go over a few things really quickly um, for one um, I'm trying to see how I can say this um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna start a pregnancy vlog I'm pregnant with um, baby number five and um, I haven't done any documentations with any of my other four so I figured now would be a good time to do it with baby number five um, not really a whole lot going on but I guess I can just um, catch us up um, so I went to the doctor Monday for my first prenatal appointment and I was measuring at um, 11 weeks two days and this is baby here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this is baby here. Um, so I'll be 12 weeks this Sunday or this Saturday one. And right now I'm just taking um, like my prenatal gummies because and these might not be the best, but I plan to get some better um, once I get done with these. But um, these are my prenatal gummies and I like to take these because it doesn't have all the iron in them like um, a lot of the traditional prescription prenatals. So I take these and uh, from time to time I will take some magnesium and um, I am vitamin D deficient. And I was before, way before I was ever pregnant with any of my children. I've always been vitamin D deficient. Um, so my doctor um, told me that she should just I take these. And I've been taking these before I even got pregnant with baby number five. Um, and it comes um, with 400 soft gels. Um, they are 5,000 um, IU per capsule. And this is vitamin D3. And I take this um, every day. And sometimes I'll take a women's probiotics. I don't take them every day, but I'll just take them sometimes. But yeah, um, not really a whole, whole lot going on. And I make sure I drink a lot of water too. But yeah, um, I am 11 weeks. I'll be 12 weeks this weekend. Um, I'm not really feeling a whole lot of symptoms this week. Um, I can say that my digestive tract has slowed down a lot. Some days I won't go to the bathroom. It'll be two to three days before I go to the bathroom most of the time. And when I do go, it's not really hard. It's just TMI, but it really doesn't want to um, come out as much. And let's see what else. I'm not really as tired and exhausted as I was in the previous weeks. I, I actually um, have a little more motivation about myself I see this week. I'm actually wanting to get out and do more things. Um, I'm not just want to sit around the house. I was actually, I'm a hairstylist, so I'm on my feet a lot and I'm using my hands like cutting hair and um, different things like that. Um, and I've noticed that I'm starting to develop um, carpal tunnel too. Especially at night when I'm trying to sleep, it really messes with me because I have two younger um, children, my five-year-old daughter and my three-year-old son. They still like really cling to me. So, and oh yeah, being out of breath, that's another thing. That's a, that's a symptom of um, this week. Um, I've been really out of breath. Like just talking, it, it makes me out of breath. If I go down steps, it's I feel like I've been running like a marathon or something but yeah I forgot about that when being out of breath is a symptom for me this week too um let's see um but yeah my my daughter and my son they still like to cling to me and they like to sleep on me and it like makes my fingers go numb and it's hard for me to sleep and I don't know how my three-year-old is gonna adjust like he doesn't even know what's coming for him because 
he's been the baby for he's like been the he's been the baby the longest out of any of my kids like usually i have an average of being two years apart and he's gonna like be the baby the longest being four years older than my last baby um far as old wife tales go and and like i'm getting trying to get used to this ring light so that's why i'm doing this a lot because it's kind of hurting my eyes and i'm still trying to adjust to it i'm pretty sure it's probably too close to my face and it's kind of giving me a headache so yeah so and i can like when i close my eyes i see the, the fucking ring but yeah um so um what else far as a wife's tales go and gender i think i'm having a boy just because i think it's going to be a boy because apparently my body loves boys and apparently my partner doesn't make anything but fucking boys um i don't even know how he got his two daughters to be honest because he mostly has boys but i'm not <clears throat> mad about that at all because i pretty much know i'm destined to have another boy um my first one was a boy, my second one was a boy. I lucked up and got blessed with my daughter third time around. Third, third time's a charm, I guess. Um, fourth baby is a boy. I'm pretty sure the fifth one's gonna be a boy. And I just say that because of the theory thing, like where they say, oh, if you have six um, a day before you ovulate or um, the day of or day after I'm pretty sure I did it sometime in that range even though we weren't trying it, it just happened to happen that during that time frame so I'm pretty sure it's a boy just because of that <laughs> but if we were going off of old wives tales supposedly it would be a girl because when I um, went to my ultrasound one day and they did the heartbeat thing it was 165 which would mean high heart rate means girl but not really because it's just no scientific proof so if i had to bet my last dollar i would definitely bet it on the boy but yeah um i don't really have a lot going on this week i just really wanted to touch base and document my pregnancy journey because like i said it's a very exciting time this is gonna be my last go around no more babies after this one i'm gonna go on a strict health journey um oh yeah about that too i've been trying not to eat so horribly um like i did with my previous pregnancies i was eating i literally thought i had to eat for two and that was just not the case i put on so much unnecessary weight um just being ignorant and uneducated about the whole thing like when i was my first pregnancy with my first son, I was 19 and I ate all the time. I went from like 150 to 220 and it, it was horrible and I didn't lose all the weight and I really don't want to do I, I really don't want to gain any weight this time around, but I know that's impossible. So I really want to just have a minimum. I'm really trying not to eat too many, not even too many sugary fruits, like no breads, like I'm trying to like do like some I guess lazy keto I don't know not keto but I know I can't do keto because I'm pregnant but I'm trying to keep it like low carb and a, a few sweet treats here and there so yeah because I'm already very plus size I mean it's not like I'm in my 300s or I, like I'm I'm like 200 pounds and I'm 5'2 and that's that's big for my height so yeah I'm not really trying to gain that much weight I'm trying to um after I have this baby I plan on exercising like full-fledged gym like low carb keto for at least the first three months and I feel like yeah and no alcohol either because that was a big mistake i made to like after i had my kids i was like "Woo, okay now i can drink alcohol and that like kind of slows your weight loss down too so no alcohol for at least three months um and just diet exercise like that's my goal i'm trying to just tattoo this in my brain so i can stick to it because i know i don't want to be in my 200 pound like 200 
like I'm in my late 20s I'm 28 so I'm in my prime years I don't want to be this heavy set motherfucker the whole time so yeah gotta get on it